as you can see I am going to show you how to create an activity diagram using the power designer and I will just actually create a new module already and let me show you how to do it this is how I did it and here I have actually opened it already and I will just start the my activity diagram this is the beginning of the activity of the diagram beginning flow of the let me take it to the top what I'm trying to achieve in this video is, is that uh, there is a, a company needs to buy a software for UML and the, com the company wants to evaluate three software before buying one is the Visio, the second is the power designer third is the spark enterprise so the let me put the first activity first activity is to is the organization wants to evaluate the software or the UML and let's say the evaluation is taking place and let's say it is here and the three software would be evaluated let's save it and the three software that needs to be evaluated let's bring it little bit down we need a fork this is also known as a fork or a join in the power designer it knows a synchronize bar but normally it is known as fork or join depending upon what you are doing now as this thing is actually separating it from the one activity one activity to the multiple activity so it's known as a fork however if you want to bring them all together it is known as join now that being done you can see I can bring it little bit down you can bring it up it's a beautiful part of the let's enter it later and then this being done okay okay that's this is what is evaluate evaluate power designer evaluate spot enterprise so in the process each is going to get evaluated and you will see that we need to make a decision for each one of them as you will see so the decision is to be made here one two and three and the decision is is good to buy ratio satisfies okay bill says satisfies requirement that being done we can say another one is our designer satisfies Requirement. Okay, and then the last thing is that we can say Spark Enterprise satisfies requirement. Okay, let's make it little smaller in the shape okay. 
it can become smaller and then we can move on now oh, there is a uh, three decisions that is going to be made one is here the second one is third one one two three all are getting to be evaluated so we can say they are getting evaluated so here it is here it is and here it is now now let bring let me bring the final ending symbol because now this is what is actually shows me the end of the flow but i do not want to have the end of the flow i want to have the end of the activity so i go to the properties and i choose to the activities and click ok now i need to show if none of this satisfied it goes to the end as you can see it has gone to the end because if the requirement doesn't satisfy it we have can see all the three are, have come to the halt that's the end of the activity and this is what we do not want to actually in this condition we do not want to buy so we are not satisfied okay so we are not going to buy and in the same case this thing also we can put the condition here and click ok and again in this condition i can go here and say not satisfied click ok and let's go here here and here that we can complete the flow from the up to the here and making the decision this is the decision has been taking place and now that being done it is not satisfied we go to the down we do not buy it that's the end of it but however if the condition is satisfied so however in the other conditions let's say there is a condition now we have to take the positive decision so we go here we create a decision and let's go and drag this thing and this is shows the condition being satisfied i can say satisfied Again, I can say satisfied with the requirement. What I mean by the satisfied is that we can buy this software, so it can go for the further evaluation and is to decision is satisfy requirement. and that being done let me make it little bit correct here as you can see now this is being i can bring it here making it look better yes and let's make it little easier to read should go here that being done now what I need to do is once the one of the software qualifies it will come here now what has happened to what happens after being satisfied we need to send it to the management approval for the cost of the software so price approval management 
once it goes to the management for the approval as you can see it has gone to the management approval the management can actually take the decision whether they want to buy it or they want to cancel it depending upon the situation whether it is expensive or not I can pull this thing down and I can actually now that being done I can say approved expensive by the the uh, management finds the software is quite expensive so it doesn't approve it so it when what's approved is by the management is that you can buy and here if it's not approved it is cancel buying cancel do not buy it and ultimately it again reaches the same place to the end the end and here it is I can move it a little bit here and I can also move this thing to the bottom okay as you can see we cannot do much to this except the okay so it comes here and it finally gets terminated here buy the software and it comes to the end if it is cancelled it is actually moved here so this is how you create an activity diagram in the power designer and lastly if you want to add a note to something you can put, take and click the note and click here as you can see you can just put a note here and you can type whatever you want by double clicking it I will just type activity diagram and that's it yeah. and thank you very much for watching have a nice day